Papatayada. Say Emperor Kodos and Gravina Hardest. Ankora and Kosapihida Madast. Not everybody understands what demonic possession is. 90% of believers don't understand what demonic possession is. As a matter of truth, no unbeliever is possessed of demons. <laughs> In fact, 90% of unbelievers are not possessed. Let me give you an insight of what demonic possession is. It's simple. It's as simple as insanity. When you see somebody is saying a person that has completely gone out of his mind, that is demonic possession. The Bible is very clear about it. We've seen in the scriptures when the Bible said a man was possessed. That man was completely a lunatic. Was completely off and out of his mind so if you look into the society you don't see demon possessed often but if you go to psychiatric hospitals that's where you see demon possessed individuals so the question would be who is then possessed of demons what we ought to be looking at if we want to understand the spiritual things that relate to demonic you know manifestations it is to look into your life areas where you are struggling i don't care how long you've been born again areas in your life that you are still yet to overcome there's a demon fostering that particular habit there are some of you here that are sick in the body there is a particular disease attached to your body that has refused to go that sickness is connected to a demon so how to know that a demon lives in you or is attached to your body to a, to your life is to find a particular area in your life that you're suffering some deliverance come, comes through knowledge for instance if you are possessed or attacked or under the influence of the spirit of ignorance you will suffer poverty for the rest of your life but they have, they have not told you that ignorance is a demon now let me give you the four categories of the demonic principalities powers rulers of ignorance oh come help me look here look here look here, look 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 rulers of darkness so darkness in the scripture is often used for ignorance rulers of ignorance so every area of your life that you're ignorant about i don't care how long you've been born again any particular area in your life that you're ignorant that spirit possesses that area I don't care how powerful you think you are if you're diabetic if you're suffering from diabetes and you did not know and you keep drinking coke you're finished you can't be diabetic and keep drinking coke if you drink a lot of sugar you'll be worsening the diabetics knowledge is God 
don't let medical science monopolize knowledge. Bahila sa inkopatayada. Don't you know that one of the seven spirits of God is the spirit of knowledge? Wasn't it through knowledge that God instructed Noah and gave him a description of how to build a boat that had the capacity to withstand the storms that destroyed the entire world? Some deliverance comes through knowledge. Some deliverance comes through wisdom. Some deliverance comes through sound, intellectual, academical knowledge. Some deliverance comes spiritually. Some deliverance comes by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Some deliverance comes by directly casting the demon out. That's why when you're in church, you're not just waiting to hear the word. The worship brings deliverance to your souls. The praises bring deliverance to your soul. Your offering, your giving, your shout, your amen, your dancing, the preaching, the declaration, the prophecies, the laying of hands, all this put together bring diversities of deliverance. Now, demons can possess your mouth. Demons can possess your mouth spontaneously. Demons can possess your actions. In fact, few minutes after Peter received the revelation concerning Jesus, and Jesus affirmed Peter and said, Peter, you are rock. Flesh and blood did not reveal this unto you. But my father in heaven gave you a revelation. Few minutes later, Satan possessed his mouth. Satan began to use his lips. Are you not hearing me? So Satan can jump into the mouth of your spouse. Satan can jump into the lips of your employers or your work colleagues and begin to speak things that are contrary. Satan jumped into Judas and began to action his behaviors. Satan can use a man to action contrary thoughts. Satan can jump into your orders to seduce people. How to know that you're possessed with the spirit of seduction is the kind of things you wear. I've seen Holy Ghost talking Christians who their attires are so seductive that you ask which Holy Spirit is inside them. I need to open to you to scriptures where the Bible described the appearances of prostitutes. Prostitution, the attire, the appearances of a prostitute is a reflection of demons. No, they've not told you that demons can possess your action. Demons can possess your lips. Are you hearing me? Demons can use you for 10 minutes and you don't know. And then he dumps you without knowing. Demons can possess your imaginations. Can I ask you one question? What do you think that Jesus says, be filled with the Spirit? What do you think that Paul continued to preach about being filled with the
the knowledge of his will is to be filled with the Holy Ghost be filled with Christ why because any area of your life that the Word of God has not dwelt richly demons will assess those areas and dwell there when you got born again you have not yet arrived certain faculties of your consciousness ought to be salvaged and the only way to salvage these faculties of your consciousness is to let the word of god dwell in you richly so any aspect of your life that the word of god has not prevailed demons will assess that area Leave 